This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show, Expresso on SABC3. Now, young entrepreneurs and small business owners present the biggest opportunity to economic growth in our country. And we know this. It's a fact that's been reaffirmed by our president and industry professionals. And today we get to chat with a young entrepreneur by the name Election Shitsaki Sobaloi, who during the lockdown turned his hobby of pizza making into a business all the way in Mangueng, Golimpopo. And Election joins us right now via video call to tell us all about his story that we are so excited to hear about how how are you doing this morning, my brother? I'm good. How are you, Katara? Very well, thank you. It's so exciting to have you on the show. We want to take it back to how it all started. Can you please let us know, you know, how you managed to get the support from the community, particularly the social media community as well? Um, it's been a wonderful thing. You know, lockdown has been bad to all of us. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, to me as well, it was very bad. And I, I was just sitting right here in the house and wanted to prepare food. Then I decided, let me just prepare pizza. I went on YouTube just to Google how to prepare the base. And because I've got some cooking, some background cooking skills from home. So I went to the shops just to go and buy some few ingredients. Came back to the house and prepared pizza. Just like that. That's how the, the pizza thingy if I may call it, started. <laughs> that's, that's amazing, mm. you know, born out of a skill set that you had and then an interest in, of course, the culinary arts. But I, I almost want to take this story step by step. Mm. So then what happens next? You've Googled it, you've seen the YouTube video, and now you've made pizza. So what happens next? So I decided that day, I took pictures of the pizza and everything that which I was, I was, I was doing that day. So after I, I, I actually posted again the final product. Mm. So that's actually how everything started because all of a sudden my Facebook was flooding with messages. <laughs> uh, you know, we are in lockdown and we don't have, we haven't eaten pizza in a long time. Mm. And just like that, you know, people started yeah. asking, how, how can we get this pizza? How mm. can we get this pizza? And I said, you know what, let's just wait for lockdown. And fortunately, that Thursday, the president said that, you know, guys, you can order and you'll be having, uh, what do you call this, take out yeah. and delivery. So it was an advantage on my side, you know. I was like, wow. yeah. So all of a sudden, people started ordering and I went and started delivering around Mankweng in Tefluo. Mm. And uh, the business uh, just started just like that, you know. That's mm. amazing. Started off as a problem. He was hungry and decided, you know what, let me fix this problem and make myself pizza. Posted it on social media, went viral, and now the community is also involved. Uh, the response to Rabbit's Pizza has been so good from your community, right, that you've already branched out to it, Zanin. Tell us more about this. Um, okay. Uh, what happened after that, uh, I decided to visit home because it's been a long time. It was a month and a half, I think. So I drove home to go and check out on them. So when I got home, like I said, social media again, I checked in, that's my home. So when I checked in, a lot of people were like, oh, so you're home, meaning that pizza <laughs> came to us. <laughs> you know? So just like that, they started ordering pizzas. And in that day, I think I sold about... 15 large pizzas. Wow. And each being a hundred rand, you know? Mm. And I, 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 I actually went on, delivered around. And just like that, everyone was like, you know what, guy, we, we, you, you need to, to start this pizza business here. My friend, uh, Masango, he was like, you know what, you have to start this here. You are not going anywhere from now on. So I taught my baby sisters that time mm. um they were pre i was preparing with them and i was doing the delivery in the same time you know so just like that they were good in one day uh my baby sisters were good in preparing pizzas you know so just like that when i was doing deliveries they would be pre doing the preparations so i i ended up spending the whole week at home preparing pizza and selling pizza with them so that's how that's we branched out to Tani. But I have to ask you this because uh, I understand business is going so well that you've secured a space and you'll be opening a shop soon. What's your vision for Rabbit Business Pizza or Rabbit uh, Pizza? Are you looking for an investor? What does the next five years look like very succinctly? Uh, we found a shop right close.
close to University of Limpopo. And um, we're going to start working there. I don't know when, um, but we would like investors to come, to be honest with you, mm-hmm. because um, now we're just working with just the little profit that we get. We try and pay rent there, just and now we just paid for a space that is not working because we still have need. We need uh, kitchen equipment mm-hmm. um, and to set up everything. You know, setting up a restaurant, a restaurant setup uh, takes about. Uh, it actually needs money. You know, so we do need um, investors who can help us there and there, so that we can be able to start up. You know, mm. yeah. Well, the beginnings of a great tale might be at our doorstep right now. Let me just quickly speak to my financial advisor. Just buy through that one million. Thank you very much. Hey, listen, I'm sure there's an investor out there listening, but thank you so much for joining us, man, and we're wishing you all of the best going forward. Thank you so much, Kate. Thank you so much. Wow. Um, and at such a time, we also remember that, you know, that the lockdown has had a devastating effect on, on so many small businesses across the country. And our hearts do go out to all of those business owners who suffered during this time. But we also recognize that it is important to share stories like these, like the story of uh, Bright Election, stories that encourage taking hold of an opportunity and helping others find employment and find a way forward during these times.